The Scout Law From Boy Scouts of America, A Handbook of Woodcraft, Scouting, and Lifecraft, 1910 This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. The Scout Law 1. A Scout's Honor is to be Trusted If a Scout says, On my honor it is so, it means that it is so, just as if he had taken the most solemn oath. Similarly, if a Scout officer says to a Scout, I trust you on your honor to do this, the Scout is bound to carry out the order to the very best of his ability, and to let nothing interfere with his doing so. If a Scout were to break his honor by telling a lie, or by not carrying out an order exactly when trusted on his honor to do so, he may be directed to hand over a scout badge, and never wear it again. He may also be directed to cease to be a scout. 2. A scout is loyal to the president, and to his officers, and to his parents, his country, and his employers. He must stick to them through thick and thin, against anyone who is their enemy, or who even talks badly of them. 3. A scout's duty is to be useful and to help others. And he is to do his duty before anything else, even though he gives up his own pleasure or comfort or safety to do it. When in difficulty to know which of two things to do, he must ask himself, which is my duty, that is, which is best for other people, and do that one. He must be prepared at any time to save life or to help injured persons. And he must try his best to do a good turn to somebody every day. 4. A scout is a friend to all, and a brother to every other scout, no matter to what social class the other belongs. Thus, if a scout meets another scout, even though a stranger to him, he must speak to him, and help him in any way that he can, either to carry out the duty he is then doing, or by giving him food, or, as far as possible, anything that he may be in want of. A scout must never be a snob. A snob is one who looks down upon another because he is poor or who is poor and resents another because he is rich. A scout accepts the other man as he finds him, and makes the best of him. Kim, the Boy Scout, was called by the Hindus, little friend of all the world. And that is the name that every scout should earn for himself. 5. A scout is courteous, that is, he is polite to all, but especially to women and children, and old people, and invalids, cripples, etc., and he must not take any reward for being helpful or courteous. 6. A scout is a friend to animals. He should save them as far as possible from pain, and should not kill any animal unnecessarily, even if it is only a fly, for it is one of God's creatures. Killing an animal for food is allowable. 7. A scout obeys orders of his parents, patrol leader, or scoutmaster without question. Even if he gets an order he does not like, he must do as soldiers and sailors do. He must carry it out all the same, because it is his duty. And after he has done it, he can come and state any reasons against it. But he must carry out the order at once. That is discipline. 8. A scout smiles and looks pleasant under all circumstances. When he gets an order, he should obey it cheerily and readily, not in a slow, hangdog sort of way. Scouts never grumble at hardships, nor whine at each other, nor swear when put out. When you just miss a train, or someone treads on your favorite corn, not that a scout ought to have such things as corns, or under any annoying circumstances, you should force yourself to smile at once, and then whistle a tune, and you will be all right. A scout goes about with a smile on. It cheers him, and cheers other people, especially in time of danger, for he keeps it up then all the same. The punishment for swearing or using bad language is, for each offense, a mug of cold water to be poured down the offender's sleeve by the other scouts. It was the punishment invented by the old British scout, Captain John Smith, 300 years ago. 9. A scout is thrifty, that is, he saves every penny he can, and puts it into the bank, so that he may have money to keep himself when out of work, and thus not make himself a burden to others or that he may have money to give away to others when they need it. End of The Scout Law Recording by James Christopher JXChristopher at Yahoo.com August 2010